Hi, my name is Alejandra Marquez. I have type 1 diabetes for 30 years. I am from Venezuela. I am living in North Carolina since 2010. I am married with a Venezuelan guy. We have a son who is seven years old and he was diagnosed with autism. Today, I would like to share three lessons learned from, from my journey living with diabetes for 30 years. The first lesson is don't take personal. They are speaking from their experience. Since I was, uh, uh, since I was diagnosed with diabetes, I have been receiving different kinds of comments. For example, oh, but how you can have diabetes if you are not overweight? But you don't look like a person with diabetes. Can you eat this bread? Can you eat this cake? You know, my grandmother died for diabetes. At the beginning, these kind of comments make me feel angry, frustrated, sad. And what I want to tell to that person was, it's not your problem, period. But then I started to switch and use that moment to educate it about what is living with diabetes. Why? Because diabetes can knock the door to anyone. It doesn't have distinction. We, we are here to spread the word about diabetes. Second lesson is if you have a financial problem to cover your insulin or your diabetes supplies, start look for, for help at the online diabetes community. Right now, there are many organizations who can have different programs and also the company who make the insulin have programs you can register to receive help for to buy insulin. Don't be embarrassed to ask for help. The third lesson learned is look for peer support. Why? Because you are not alone. There are many people with diabetes. And when you connect with other people who are living the same condition, the same problem, the same thing, it's, it's magic to, to have that connection. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. When I moved to United States in 2010, I uh, looked for help uh, online and, and found this blog, I told you before, to diabetes, and I found Diabetes Sister. Diabetes Sister is a no-profit organization who help and educate and support a woman with diabetes. When I found this organization, I fell in love. Why? First, because was in the same states I live, it was in a city one hour and a half from me. I registered for the first meeting I went and was the best decision I made because I met wonderful woman as a sister, as a friend that, that helping me all and welcomed me in that community. And to be around people who are living with the same condition is, is magic. Uh, uh, really is so magic that uh, seeing that I was volunteer for diabetes sister and right now I one of the POTS leader of my city in Greensboro North Carolina diabetes sister uh, you can find online on the website and look for uh, for the the POTS meet up in your city if you are if you don't find it can be online also, this experience helping me to, to look for peer support when we receive the diagnosis of our son with autism. Why? Because when I received the diagnosis, I felt alone. I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, no, oh, I have to find another parent who are living with children with autism. And that is what I did. Why? Because diabetes sister, all that experience taught me look for peer support is the best way to do. It's going to help you. And then last year, I started my Instagram account, Espacio para Padres, 
to share my experience as a person with diabetes living uh, a parenthood in the neurodiversity. Why? Because I really know when you share your experience, you are going to help yourself and the others. And it's, it's, a, it's a magic when you do community. It's magic. I hope these three lessons learned help you as they help in me. I'm going to summary the three lessons uh, for you. The first one, don't take personal. They are speaking from the experience. Use that moment to educate what is living with diabetes. Second one, look for uh, financial uh, if you cannot cover your insulin. There are many, many, many programs you can find to buy your insulin and diabetes supplies. Third one, look for peer support. Visit Diabetes Sister or another organization with diabetes. And also you can visit my account, Espacio Para Padres, and I, I can share with you what is living with diabetes, type one, and with my son who has autism. I hope this can help you uh, as uh, help that helping me. Bye.